guys, what's going on? Last time I uh, talked to you, I was telling you about the Virago 250 that I picked up. This is currently how it's looking, but I wanted to show you a couple other bikes that we've got in the garage that I thought you might be interested in. So these are some little dirt bikes that we have. These are kind of cool. They're little uh, SSR bikes. They're 125 cc bikes. They're relatively inexpensive. I should say very inexpensive to get into. And I just wanted to talk about, you know, if you're looking for a good dirt bike for your kids, to get your kids started in dirt biking, you don't want to spend a lot of bucks. These are good bikes to get going. We've got uh, three of these little SSR pit bikes that are really a lot of fun. We like to take them up on the trails and uh, we also cruise them around the neighborhood, which is eh, totally illegal, but uh, not really. I don't know. Relatively legal, I would imagine. It's only 20 miles an hour around here, so it's not too bad. But let me show you some of the details on these little guys and then we'll do a uh, We'll do a little demo for you, fire them up, and you guys can check them out. These bikes are really loud for what they are. They're actually louder than my Virago, which is amazing. I wish my Virago was this loud because you can really hear these things uh, cruising around, which is kind of a good safety feature. So we've got two different flavors of SSR 125s here today. We've got the full manual, which is a four-speed manual bike. Uh, we've got two of uh, the four-speed manual bikes, and they're really surprisingly quick. I mean, these things do like, I think they'll do 55 miles an hour. I think I had one of them up to about 45, and these bikes are so, they're so freaking light. They're about 170 pounds uh, filled with fuel. So they're super light, and uh, with a 125 torquey motor, they're really quick. I was uh, I was surprised. I wouldn't be surprised if like zero to 30, these things could take my uh, take my Virago. We still have to. Uh, we're going to do a matchup. We're going to do a little drag race uh, in an upcoming video. It's going to be the uh, SSR versus the Virago, and we'll see. Hopefully, I don't get my ass kicked by these little these little pit bikes. It would be kind of embarrassing. But anyway. Uh, so again, this is the full, these are the full manual bikes, four speed manuals with clutches. And then this little guy over here, which is a pretty cool bike actually, uh, is a semi-auto. So if you know somebody who wants to try out, you know, motocross, uh, motocrossing or trail riding and you're worried they're going to have trouble with the clutch, get them one of these. I mean they still get to shift you just don't have you can check it out there's just no clutch hello missing the clutch but you still have the uh, still have the gear shifter so they still have the fun of shifting gears but no clutch that's killer so I'm gonna uh, gonna have uh, my son Brandon here fire up one of these little puppies for you you can check it out so here's a little uh, this is the semi-auto we got fired up here. Brandon, give it a little rev. A little more. As you can hear, these things actually sound like like a beefy little motocross bike. You can see the size of them. They're not that big. But, you know, they're actually big enough for an adult to ride them. Uh, Brandon's actually 13 and he's like 5'9". So he's a full-size rider. He could definitely ride a bigger bike, but you can still... Uh, these could accommodate a bigger rider, so they're really fun to ride. So let's uh, check it out and see what they're like. Let me do a little high-speed pass. This is the semi-auto. You hear how it sounds. Actually, 
sound pretty good. These are fun little bikes, man. If I wasn't filming, I'd be on that thing right now. But uh, GoPro is in the works, so we should have some good footage soon. So you guys saw the semi in action. Now we're going to show you the full manual bike. And you guys could check that one out. It's a little bit quicker than the semi. I already got beat by this uh, by this full auto when I was riding the semi. So you can check it out here. How it sounds a little bit different in sound and how it accelerates better. I'm going to show you how easy it is to start these little suckers up. Go ahead, Brando. Oh yeah, first kick, baby. First kick. So you can even get uh, you can get these things faster than the 55 mile per hour top speed if you switch out the CDI that's got a higher rev limit. Personally, I don't think you want to go faster than 55 miles an hour on these things. I think that's fast enough. Plus, you don't want to blow the motors. This is not. Uh, keep in mind these are not Japanese built bikes. These are Chinese bikes. Um, they still have good solid motors. And you know, as long as you change the oil immediately when you get it, uh, they do pretty good. And you know, just go ahead and lock tight all the bolts, and you're good to go. And these things give you a lot of a lot of hours of use. So, Brandon's going to go ahead and give you a little demo of this bike now, and uh, you can see how mean these little guys sound. I'll let you hear these uh, these manuals. They're just sound beefier. They accelerate harder than the semi-auto. There's no doubt about it. I mean, they're really good little performers. And they're by no means quiet bikes. So if you have neighbors that hate you, then these aren't the bikes for you. Then again, maybe they are. One good high speed pass, wide open throttle. That wasn't too bad. And this is his first manual dirt bike, so it's great because it's not that much power that it's just gonna scare the shit out of you. You could you could open it up and not have to worry about flipping over on your head. And they're still fast enough where you could just have a, a ton of fun with them. So it's a good little bike. So all in all, uh, not a bad little bike. Yes, it's a Chinese bike. I know all you haters are saying, oh man, those Chinese bikes suck. Well, actually they don't all suck. This thing is actually decent. I don't normally endorse Chinese products. And yes, if you went with a Yamaha or a Honda, there's definitely gonna be better build quality, probably better reliability, but you will pay for to five or six times as much for the equivalent CC bike in a Japanese bike as you will for this. If you don't want to drop three or four grand on a brand new bike for your kid to start out on or for you just to putt around the neighborhood and, and terrorize the neighbors, this is a pretty good choice. I'd, uh, I'd probably go with this. Just don't forget, change the oil. As soon as you get it, lock tight the bolts. You can pick one of these up for, God, I don't know, like 700 bucks at uh, highstylemotoring.com or Pit Bikes Gone Wild, I think it is. That's where I got these. Good people over there, and uh, check them out. All right, guys, so click subscribe and like, and next week I will put up a video of my G35 sedan.
doing some nitrous blast, but only if you click like and subscribe. So please do that if you like smoky burnouts and nitrous launches. Um, and honestly, who doesn't like smoky burnouts and nitrous launches? You'd have to be crazy not to like that shit. So go ahead and uh, subscribe and I'll talk to you guys later.